you're, you're working, right? But you got to do it strategically. If you're trying to go from zero to level 100, it's not going to happen, right? It's not going to happen. This is what happens to a lot of people that come in. I've seen people that go in and, and you know, I hate when I, I bump into people like on, on YouTube or anywhere and tell people, hey, man, you're going to be able to get a job, a uh, hundred something thousand dollars, like on your first job. Like that's bullshit. Like it's bullshit. You don't have a degree. You don't have uh, any experience. Nobody's paying that without nothing in return. Like you have to come with something that shows that you are worth that. Companies are not just giving away a hundred thousand dollars just to give it away. No. Right. So, you know, at least this is the thing you could love me. You could hate me. You could do whatever the hell you want. Right. But one thing that you got to know is that literally like I'm honest with it. I'm telling you guys the truth. I'm just being real with you. I could bullshit you and be like, Hey guys, you go to codingphase.com. I'll show I'll show you how to get a hundred dollars an hour. hundred dollars an hour. I ain't even get paid a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars an hour working as a developer. Right. And a lot of these guys never got paid a hundred dollars an hour working as developers. What they tell you is I did a gig that took me one hour and I got paid a hundred dollars. Do you understand the difference between that? I don't know. Put the number one on the chat. Do, do you understand the difference between that? What I just said, right? Put number one. If you understand what I'm trying to tell you, put number two, if you don't understand. Okay. It's, it's an interactive chat. Okay. Do you understand the difference between somebody making a hundred dollars an hour or more or right on a consistent basis as a, as a job as a full-time career, full-time job, right? Versus somebody that says, Hey, I went to Craigslist. I went to Fiverr. I got paid a hundred dollars to do a gig. That took me one hour. You understand? <laughs> you understand what I'm telling you, right? So this is the type of bullshit that people come in. You know, it's like the other day, who was it? That guy, Luis and Nesto, some shit like that. I was saying, he's like, yo, man, there's gurus. There's guys that are gurus, right? And that's the thing. It's like, when you come and watch me, you know I'm damn well, I'm no guru. Like, I'm just a regular dude telling you, like, yo, this is what I did in my career. And, and that's it. A, a guru will come in and will tell you, hey, guys, I could teach you how to make $100 an hour, Right? Hey guys, this is how you you go in. You take my course. You you pay a thousand dollars, and I'll teach you how to make you know uh you know for this a thousand dollars, I'll get you into a React job that's gonna pay you hundred and eighty thousand dollars. That's bullshit. People are not going in and going from zero, no experience, never worked, no 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 freaking <laughs> no background, no 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 car facts saying that they've ever worked in development and get paid $180,000. There's no way. Nobody. Ever. Right? And yeah, they might have one or two students, three students that come in and be like, whoa, every single one of you guys is going to be able to make this shit. It's like, nah. When you go into it, it's like when you go to a boot camp. This is one of the things that I, why I hate boot camps so much. Right? And, and I'm not going to say the individuals that go to boot camps because I went to boot camps. Um, I, I've met some cool individuals that went to boot camps too. Um, but I'll never forget this shit. I'm at a job, right? This is true story. True story. I'm in the, I'm at a job and there was this kid. This was early, early, early on in my career. Like I was always a front end developer and I hadn't really worked in the back end like that. Um, and I'm there working at this company. And I remember this guy who was the boss, one of the owners, he's like, yo, it was like, oh, little Billy's such a great employee. Look at all the work that he's done. You know, he only took, he went to a boot camp for three months. Look at the level that he's in, this, this, and that. And like, because at the time I wasn't good in the back end, right? So in his way to try to motivate me, he was like, you're trying to make me feel bad. I was like, look at what he done. And he has three months of experience. He just went to a boot camp. So I said, let me do my homework, bro. Let me do my homework on this dude. Because there's no way I've been learning for years, right? I've been doing this for not even years, but I've been learning this, you know, at that time it was like maybe a year and a half, right? And I'm like, yo, I know what level I'm at. 
And I'm looking at this dude doing shit that in three months, there's no way nobody learns that much in three months, right? I go in, and, and I remember this, and, and the guy's telling me, little Billy's telling me, he's like, oh, yeah, I only went to school for three months. I went to this boot camp. I went to Full Stack Academy. I went to this, this, and that. And I'm like, all right, bro, cool, because I know the bullshit. There's no way, right? So I go in, do my research. Boop, 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 boop. Google this dude's name. Boop, 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 boop. Shit pops up. Programming team in high school. Uh, <laughs> right? The dude's been getting awards. Like, <laughs> dude has a, him and his team have like a, 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 a fucking, uh, like a, 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 a golden, a golden <laughs> fucking cup of them like winning some, some random um, hackathon in high school. And I'm like, wait, hold on. Hold on, mind you, I'm like 24, right? This dude is like 26, 27, like three years older than me, right? And I'm like, hold on, bro. I ain't saying nothing, but I'm in my house. This is me in my house. I'm like, hold on, bro. Like, you've been doing this shit for way longer, right? <laughs> Dudes is trying to be prodigies, and I hate people like that, right? Because then... You that is actually here, that's on a certain path and working hard and doing your shit, and you're like, damn, how come I'm not that good? He just went for three months. There's no way that, you know what I mean? How, I'm so dumb. I got to be so dumb that I can't get this. Look what he did in three months. It's bullshit. People finagle their way in. So this individual was just basically saying, oh, I've never programmed before. I've never did web development. So then one day I call, I pull him to the side, grab him by the hand. I say, yo, bro, let me talk to you. I just found out you, you've you been doing this shit since high school. Then he comes in and he goes like, oh, nah. What I meant was I just started web development three months ago. You see the type of bullshit, right? So, <laughs> it's like, yo, bro, you've been programming since like the age of 14, right? I just started a year ago, right? You're trying to act like you're so much better. You have fucking seven, eight years. You got almost damn near 10 years on top of me. Of course you got to be fucking good. If you got 10 years programming, building fucking games, building, you know, software, Working with Java, working with, uh, you know, C and C Sharp, working on, on, on video games. Because I looked at his shit. I'm like, yo, hold on, bro. This isn't no three months. Because I know what three months look like. I know what three months look like. At three months, you're still struggling to remember the syntax of a for loop. I know what three months look like. You don't have no three months, bro. Now, this is the type of bullshit that a lot of boot camps will try to sell you on. Okay, and it's the same type of bullshit that a lot of people will come in and try to sell you on when they have their courses and this, this, and that. And and it kind of makes the student feel like shit because you're like, damn, how come this person is so much better than me? Everybody wants to get a pat in the back. Always remember that. A lot of these clowns that go in and be like, oh, yeah, man, I just started yesterday. They just want to fucking get a pat in the back. They just want somebody to give them some love. You know what I mean? He's like the ugly duckling that nobody gave a hug or gave a, a kiss to. And then now he's getting some love because he's like, oh, he's a prodigy. Right? He's a prodigy. He's never done this before, but look how great he is. Same shit they do in, 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 in fucking boot camps. They do that shit in, in boot camps and they do that shit in, in, in like online courses. Right? They'll come in and be like, they'll put like, I'll see the advertisement on like random shit. Right? And be like, Here's, here's Johnny. Look at Johnny. Johnny came in, took our course in two months. Look at where he's at. <laughs> here's Johnny. He just came in. Look at him at Google, right? Little do you know, little Johnny got a fucking <laughs> degree from Stanford in biology, right? Okay. Now he just decided to switch over and say, I'm going to learn web development, right? He learned some of, of the web development. Now Google's looking at his Carfax and looking at all the things that this guy has and says, yeah, 
He passed the interview. Let's give him a job. But then now the boot camp or the teacher, the instructor that's that's showing these people, they show him as a prodigy to every single one of you guys, right? To every single one of you guys. And be like, this is what you can become. This is what you can become. So now you, that you're, you're a fucking mechanic, you just came off home, you're taking off the grease off your hands, you're coming home, you're like, damn, man, I want to be that guy. Let me go sign up to that $1,000 course. Let me go sign up to that $25,000 boot camp because they're going to get me there. Next thing you know, it doesn't happen that way. Reality goes in and, and, and hits you in the face. And then now you're there and you're like, oh, shit. Hold on. I was supposed to get a $200,000 job. What happened? Sorry, buddy. You, you're starting at 60. Sorry, buddy. You're starting at 70. But hold on, I thought everybody here was getting 200. Well, it happens, but, you know, we don't guarantee anything. So why was you telling me on a commercial, why was you telling me on, <laughs> what was you telling me on the bio description that everybody goes and makes it to this $200,000 job on the first gig? Well, you know, we you never read the, the small print, we don't promise anything. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? So, so that's the thing that you got to keep in mind, right? That you, you might think that you're going to get to this high numbers, this high level of things, but it's certain things that come with you. It's either experience. You got to have your car facts. That looks great for a company to give you opportunities like that. You just don't do it from zero to, a, uh, you know, to level a hundred. You have to work yourself up. Okay. And that's the thing that people, uh, don't really think about, you know what I mean? And that's why when you come to codingphase.com, you go to my website, I don't come in and tell you guys, Hey guys, this is, uh, you're going to make 200. Nah, my job is to get you into the game. That's a, whatever you make after that, that's after, you know, that's on you, right? My job is to say, you know what? This person came in and in two months, he really busted his ass. He got a job now. I'm happy with that. And then from there, hold your hand for the next two years, right? Two, three years, hold your hand, get you into your first front-end developer job, get you into your back-end developer job, and then from there, get you into a way for you to quit all the jobs and never go back. That's what I do in my first three years. That's what I promise to people. I don't promise, hey, guys, got to make $200,000, $300,000. you are not going to make $200,000, $300,000 from just an online course. You're going to make that by you working hard and working in the industry. So 